What is up, Coradix? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's Dub Money Event Week, as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for March 23rd through March 29th, 2023. In terms of new content for this week, we unfortunately didn't get anything new, which sort of makes sense considering we got two cars last week, plus the new missions. Remember that we technically only have one drift feed vehicle left, which is the Karen Boar. So we're getting really close to that content of this DLC ending. I would assume either next week or the following week we'll get the last car, but we're just going to have to wait and see. Plus, we can't forget about all the limited time cars Rockstar removed, so it's going to be interesting to see how and if they bring them back. But anyways, the current prize right for this week is the Galavanter Baller LE LWB Armored, a very long name, but it's basically the long wheelbase baller le that's armored a very random choice from rockstar if i'm being honest not really anything too <laughs> special there again very very random but anyways this vehicle is primarily based on the fourth gen range rover and has a normal price of about 500,000. to get this vehicle for free you have to place top two in an ls carmate series race for two days in a row now in terms of performance, this vehicle is in the SUVs class and has pretty average performance being around mid-pack and it's actually slower than the OG normal baller that you can get off the street for free. So yeah, I mean obviously it has the armor and the bullet resistant windows which makes it a bit cooler and more useful slightly but that's what we have the Imani Tech cars for, right? In terms of the test drive vehicles for this week, we have the Gauntlet Classic, the Deity, and the Pariah as well. And for current gen console users, we have the HSW Turismo Classic as the HSW test ride vehicle for this week. Now in terms of the Casino Podium vehicle, we have the SE Sport. This vehicle is primarily based on the 2020 Mini Cooper GP concept, and it has a normal price of just under 900000 in terms of performance, it's in the sports class and arguably has the best handling in that entire class. It basically handles like a high-end track supercar. It's really impressive, and because of that, it still currently sits in top 10 for that class, which is very impressive. And in rally-style off-road races, it's still the king for those types of tracks. Just a fantastic car that I highly recommend trying to win. In terms of the dealership cars for this week, for luxury autos we have the RE7B and the Astron. And for Simeons we have the Eudora, the Rebla GTS, the SE Classic, the Strider, and the Rapid GT as well. Moving on to the discounts, in terms of property discounts we unfortunately do not have any this week. However, we do have 30% off the Brickade 6x6 Acid Lab and of course the equipment upgrade for it as well, so I guess that's something. Moving on to the vehicle discounts, we have 30% off the Power Surge. So this motorcycle is the new king for most motorcycle races when HSW is turned off, or of course if you're on old gen, so I highly recommend getting one if you don't own it already. Continuing, we have 30% off the RE7B, so this car used to be the king of the supercar class at one point, but obviously a lot has changed over the years, and it now sits around 10th place in that class depending on the track. Now it does have great handling, which is its main strength, but the customization is very lackluster, and the rear wheel fitment is terrible if you have any wheel other than stock equipped. Next up we have 40% off the Deity, so this car has fantastic styling with some great customization as well, and of course a Monitech. However, it's in a sedans class, and it's slower than the OG Shafter for track performance, which really makes no sense to me. I really wish they would have made it faster in general. Moving along, we have 40% off the Rebla GTS. A pretty good discount on this one considering the great customization and performance it has being a top 5 SUV for track performance. However, it is slower than the much cheaper Tauros, so keep that in mind. Moving on to the Southern San Andreas website, we have 35% off the Gauntlet Classic, one of my favorite muscle cars because of the amazing detail and customization it offers. 
Now, it doesn't have the greatest performance being around the pace of some OG muscle cars like the Buccaneer and the Vigero, but still a fantastic vehicle to customize and drive. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 30% off the Taxi, which doesn't really give you all that much of a benefit because it's a Pegasus vehicle, meaning you can't customize it, and you can always just call Cabco and steal one anyways, and it pretty much gets delivered to you, whereas when you call Pegasus, you gotta go to the Pegasus spawn point to get it. There's really no point in buying the Taxi. In terms of double money, we have double money and RP on the adversary mode trap door, the stash houses, Gerald's caches, which is called G's caches, street dealers, taxi work, and of course the first dose and the recently added last dose missions from Dax, which are continuing from last week. And lastly, we have a 1.5 times speed boost on Acid Lab production plus double supplies if you do the Acid Lab resupply missions. Moving on to the Prime Gaming bonuses for Prime Gaming members only, so again, same as usual, we have the usual free $125,000 for logging in during the event week period. And lastly, this week's RC Bandito Time Trout is Construction Site 2. This week's Normal Time Trout is LSIA 2. I highly recommend a vehicle with a high top speed for that one. In terms of the premium race for this week, we have the Motorcycle Race, A Sign of Things to Come. I highly recommend either the Power Surge, which is on sale this week, the Shotaro, or the Hakachu Drag for that race. And if you're on current gen, I highly recommend using the HSW Hakachu Drag. And lastly, for next gen console users, the HSW Time Trial is Ron Alternates. As always, the HSW Hakachu Drag would be the best one for these. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm going to have to go with the Power Surge at 30% off for pretty much the fastest non-HSW motorcycle in its class for track performance. I think it's an absolute bargain, especially when we compare it to other multi-million dollar motorcycles like the Shotaro, for example. I think this is a pretty decent deal, all things considering for the performance that you get out of it. Anyways, guys, hope this was helpful. Overall, this event week is pretty decent. I wouldn't say it's amazing or really good, but at least we have some variety on double money opportunities this week. I think either next week or the following week we should receive the Karen Boar, which is sort of a last vehicle of a DLC. I'm just interested to see how Rockstar is going to go about bringing back the limited time vehicles, if at all, because I've seen a lot of people in my comments section complaining they can't get the 300R, for example. So um, unless they use a glitch, obviously, and you can't buy from somebody in the LS car mate if you haven't owned it prior. So it, it's it's honestly a bit annoying. I, the limited time vehicle thing, you guys know my take on that. I'm not a fan. Um, so hopefully Rockstar brings those vehicles back. It's unconfirmed at this moment in time, but only time will tell. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.